welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a special collaboration with April from Simple Rugged Path, and we are doing kids in the garden. Now, sometimes when I get to filming a video, true confession, I kind of get a little bit carried away. Just a tad. This video um, pretty much took over half my yard. So there was a section of my yard that when we first moved into this house, was just completely overgrown and we never used at all. Last year we built a whole new chicken coop over there and this year I decided that that should be the kids area. Mostly because it smells like chicken poop. <laughs> I'm so mean. Hope you enjoy! Don't forget to check the playlist below of some other fabulous YouTubers and their ideas of how to get those kids into the garden, learning, and digging in the dirt. Thank you so much April at the Simple Rugged Path for co-hosting this collaboration. Take it away, voiceover! So here's the piece that I was talking to you about. My husband built this beautiful bridge and the chicken coop last year and we put up a hammock and the kids have really enjoyed playing in it and all around it. But the problem is, is that in the summer and springtime, it just gets completely overgrown. There are all these trees and a ton of wisteria and there's just a ton of ticks in this area. So the first thing I decided to do was kind of just trim it up and I cut off a whole bunch of the wisteria, the vines that are growing everywhere and just kind of tried to clean up a little bit of this area. Next, I decided to dig a very large circle around the hammock area and just get rid of all the grass there and put mulch in. And I'm hoping that that will help keep some of the bugs away and it'll just give it a nice area that the kids can play in. Now, at the back of my property is a large mound of tires. My house is about 80 years old and about 20 years ago or 30 years ago, um, the property owner decided to use the entire property as a dumping ground. So this lovely little bin of tires belongs to us and I've yet to figure out what to do with all of it but I thought maybe I could incorporate it into the kids garden so that is what I decided to do. I actually only ended up using about six tires for this project, so leave me a comment below if you'd like to see more tire projects because I got some more ideas about what I'm gonna do with the rest of those tires just to get them off the property and recycled. The next thing that I did was plant sunflower seeds all around the edge of the circle. Hopefully, cross my fingers with any luck, we'll have some ginormous sunflowers this summer that will kind of surround the girls' hammock area. Next, I dug out at some edging next to the creek of where I wanted to have a flower bed. I then took some of these plants that have been in the shade in my yard and they really haven't done well over the past year and I replanted them here because it gets a good amount of sunlight and they, I forgot what kind of plant they are, but I gave them some blood mill and they have these beautiful flowers on them so hopefully they'll work. This next thing that I am making is going to be a bean teepee. I saw this on Pinterest and thought that would be so great to make. I have a ton of sticks and even some trees that are down in this area, plus a ton of wisteria. So I cut back a lot of the wisteria and I had all these wisteria vines, which were perfect to kind of weave in and out of those sticks that I planted. So that's what I'm doing now. And full disclosure, I did plant some bean babies that I grew from seed, but I am really not good at the hardening off process. So they look really awful and I went ahead and planted some bean seeds as well. So hopefully that those will grow up better and we'll end up with this beautiful bean teepee this summer. And now for the fun part of spray painting everything. These cement blocks are going to be turned into a balance beam with a piece of scrap lumber that my husband had. And now we are taking the kids table that is kind of really sun worn and kind of looking really bad and we just spray painted that entire thing and then I was able to pick up an old palette from a local store. I have been looking everywhere for palettes and nobody is giving them away anymore. They're all selling them. But I was able to get this one and we spray painted this one down. I dug up the ground underneath it and filled it with some fresh soil and in here we are going to be planting some wildflower seeds.
And next, I just took a rainbow of colors and spray painted all the tires different colors. I let the kids pick out which colors belong to which tire, although after having them spray paint the other items earlier, I realized that I should probably stick to all the spray painting so that I actually get it done and we don't end up with a rainbow colored yard. Next up is a little project that we decided to do of creating hopscotch stepping stones. This was almost kind of a fail, I, I don't know, is that we ended up with 10 of these little um, stepping stones and I think three of them ended up breaking the very first day. But the rest of them turned out fine and the girls had a lot of fun making different designs. They were supposed to be numbered one to 10 and I can no longer tell where the numbers are at all, but they're still having fun with them. And here it is, the final reveal. I absolutely love what a difference this made. It just made it into such a warm, inviting place where I can keep an eye on them. They have their own little garden. They can play with the chickens. They can swing. They can use the tires to jump around on. They can do some balance beam activities. And I also put out their hula hoops so that they can have fun with that. They have their little table out there that they can make mud pies with. And it's just a really wonderful and warm, inviting area. enjoyed if you did please be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you are not already subscribed please click that little red button below to go ahead and subscribe don't forget to check out the playlist and I'll see you guys next time bye